Hi, I'm Matthew Lapp, host of Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Also today in this segment, I'm at the Itasca Historical Depot Museum in Itasca, Illinois. The Itasca Historical Depot Museum is located on 101 Catalpa Avenue in Itasca, Illinois, and is part of the Itasca Parks and Districts and the depot is open if you check the web for the hours and admission is free. The depot was built in 1873 and was originally located near the railroad tracks and was used for the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad. And also this depot set Itasca in motion. It was even used for passengers to buy a ticket and also board a train to go somewhere or people to arrive in Itasca on a train from somewhere. By the 1970s, the depot had become to handle the needs of the community and nearly awaited demolition. In 1976, the city had an idea to move the depot and it got carried on a semi-trailer and in 1980 it became a museum and it was put in this spot and in 2009 the building needed a total restoration and the depot was being worked on and then in 2013 the restoration was complete and it was repainted as it looked how it was in 1873 what you see right behind me is Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul, 01839. Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul, 01839 was built in 1939 and is a rib-sided bay window caboose. This car was once used on the back of freight trains, and also this is the original number. It was used on the back of freight trains many years ago and served as the train crew's office. Then it was likely renumbered 99-1839. Then it was retired and it sat in someone's backyard at someone's home in Itasca, Illinois for many years. Then in 2013, the previous owner gave it to the city and gave it to the museum and it was put in this spot just adjacent to the Itasca Historical Depot Museum and was transferred by a semi-truck. When it arrived it was being restored back to its original look and was also restored on the inside and outside and also you can even walk inside the caboose and check out the interior as well. Okay, you can see right here is a bell that was probably from a steam engine used by the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad years ago. And it's right here on this um, stone pillar thing, whatever you call it. And it's been put right here and it was held for preservation. And of course you could even ring it. And that's how it's done. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed learning about trains with me today in Matthew Lap Train Guy Segment Show. Also, I hope to see you all again in the next segment. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, the subscribe button is just down below the video screen. And if you didn't give my Facebook page a like yet, here's where you'll want to go. And if you didn't give the Instagram page a follow yet, here's where you'll want to go as well. Also, be sure to get your merch at teesprings.com Link is in the description box below along with the Facebook and Instagram pages. And remember to subscribe to the Train Guy. So this is Matthew Lapp, host of Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Sign out until next time. All aboard.